What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing. So let's get this thing rocking and rolling. So first, we gotta take care of the gym fit, bro, because your boy, this ain't no gym attire, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, mate? And yes, I shaved the stash. I saved the stash, Superman. Save the stash. Uh, it needed to be done, bro. It needed to be done. Because I literally, literally, quite literally haven't saved the stash in years. And I just didn't, you know, why not, right? So, boom. For the bottoms, we're going some polo shorts. And in the top, we have this black tank. So let's go ahead and throw that on. Boom. All right. See, with the pump, it's going to look much, much better. Boom. I always love to tuck in in my shorts. So we're going with that. And then we're going to throw... The Gymshark jacket right above it. And this is a zip up, so I have the option of either, you know, zipping it up or letting it hang. Whoa. Whoa. What are you saying? <clears throat> Damn, I need some water. That, and then we're gonna top it off with a hat. Uh, it can go either way with the hat. You can either go backwards or forward. Uh, as long as the headphones can fit, it works, baby. But what I've been doing lately is sometimes I'll have a, like, I'll, I won't play any music in the gym, right? So I'll just be completely focused on pushing myself and, and the workout. And then, like, that translates into the rest of the day, if you know what I'm saying. So even, like, with music and all that, guys, I honestly don't even really listen to music. Whenever I'm in the gym, I listen to, like, you know, motivational stuff and things like that because that's what hypes me up. But even with that, I'm, I'm trying to push myself without without any enhancers, if that makes sense. However, though, for the full gym fit, we've got, like I said, the hat, gym shark jacket, gray tank, polo shorts, and then we got the long socks. That is what we're rocking for the gym fit. So the weather in Texas is a bit, how can I say, moisturized. <laughs> all right, all right. I hope, uh, for everybody that does speak uh, correct English and all that, like the accent and whatnot, I, I'm a very big fan of the, like, the Tay and all that, so if I ever throw in a, if I ever throw in the English or Australian or the Irish accent, bear with me, mate, oh, I'm working on it, all right? All right! So in one of the other videos, I said that I wanted to completely cut off energy drinks because, one, it's just not, like, very natural for you, and, um... And there's obviously better things to do, right? So I told you guys that I was gonna hop on like a coffee, a coffee drink instead of like a energy drink, and we've done it, baby. So I was drinking an energy drink or taking a pre-workout for my uh, workouts, and I was like, bro, there has to be a better way to like attack this because one, uh, again, you just don't want that much in you at one time, and then two coffee is it's natural for you you know what I mean compared to all the energy drinks and all the stuff they put in there coffee is literally as natural as it gets for you and it feels good to be in your body unless you got like you know bowel syndrome or something but it's like what I'm saying what my my point is so I've switched completely from energy drinks to having a coffee before my workouts now granted uh, take energy drinks if you want, right? But the genuinely healthier option is coffee, and I'd like to try and stay as natural as possible. So, uh, are energy drinks completely ruled out? No, but if coffee is available, I'm gonna go with the coffee, again, because it's completely natural, and I think an energy drink, it, uh, it's not even about prices, bro. Like, that's not even what it's about, right? But you can get a coffee, a large coffee for a buck, depending on what gas station you go to, and every energy drink in the market's like five dollars a drink right so you do the math on that and it don't math up but like literally you can go to any gas station bro and the coffee's a dollar like and again it's not even about price right but if we're thinking logically if we're thinking in a logical and a health way uh coffee is the way to go so depending on where you live Almost all gas stations everywhere will have coffee in there. And if you don't like black coffee, bro, add some sugar-free stuff to it. So just to make it taste a little bit better. But there's different forms of coffee and there's even brands of coffee that 
it's coffee, but it doesn't taste like coffee, right? I have yet to try that um, because I do enjoy black coffee. It's, it's actually really good to me. It took some time to, I needed to adjust, obviously. One of the gas stations that I go to, they have a coffee, they have coffee machines, different flavors of coffee, and then they have a cappuccino machine. So I go like half and half with it. So I'll go whatever, half black coffee or half one of the coffee flavors, and then I'll go half of a sugar and fat-free cappuccino. And because honestly, bro, it's, it's really, really freaking tasty. And again, um, not only are you saving a ton of money, which is always a great thing, but you're also, um, but you're also going with something that's extremely natural for your body. You know what I mean, bro? So regardless though, you always want to stay super, super hydrated with, with whatever you're drinking for the gym. And that right there is a big update on the coffee situation. I put y'all on what? A secret. Well, it's not really a secret, but all right. This does break your fast before the gym, so handle with discretion. So here we've got our half black coffee and half cappuccino. And then we've got some Belvita Crunchy Crackers, bro. These things are absolutely delicious, alhamdulillah. Like, these are gas, bro. Gas equals delicious. So what we gonna do, right, is we're gonna take a little sit. All right, all right. Tastes good, alhamdulillah. All right, so we're gonna get our Belvita Cracker. Shaboosh. We're going to sit. That consistency is crazy, bro. It's like, it's like, the second it goes in, right? Mad crunchy, but then it gets, you know, the coffee gets in and it gets mushy. And then these are the blueberry ones, so it's literally delicious. So another way we do it is we're just gonna, mm -hmm. ten out of ten, bro. You know, whenever you're drinking like hot tea or hot coffee. And you be pushing your limits. You be, you you be like pushing your limits with how far you know the heat you can take because it'd be hot. You know what I'm saying? But you like, you, 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 if you know, you know. So the transition from energy drinks to coffee, I thought it was gonna be like, oh, I, I you know switch back and forth for a little bit and then hop on the coffee. No, bro, you got to be able to go cold turkey, go cold turkey, and then just hop on the new thing, bro. That, that's how disciplined you gotta be. So it was honestly way, way easier. And like I said, way financially, way smarter, and honestly, like, way healthier. You know what I'm saying? So the coffee has been smashed down. Now, as always in your workouts, you wanna be drinking a ton of water because, fun fact, your muscles are like, I don't know, 60, 70% water, don't quote me on it. But one of the big things to getting a crazy pump is staying extremely hydrated. So drink some Ooh, uh. For today's workout, we've got upper body focus, and what that means is one of the workout days for this routine, I set a full workout to just upper body focus, so chest, whatever I feel like needs a bit more work. So whatever, chest, arms, or back, right? Uh, but for today's workout specifically, we're doing two shoulder exercises, two buy and try exercises, and two chest exercises. That is what we're rocking for today's workout. And remember, it's all about the angle you hit it from. I always say, it depends on your workout routine right so for me for example my current routine it's shoulders and biceps chest and try back legs upper body focus uh, Saturday's core and cardio and Sunday's recovery however the reason I like to have that upper body focus is because if on day one and day two I'm hitting chest and try shoulders and by then you know what I'm saying there's been enough there's been that that recovery period that it really needs to for it to make sense on Friday but like let's say you're doing chest on Monday and then you have an upper body focus on Wednesday yeah you might get something out of it but I always believe that you want your muscles to recover before actually going crazy on them again because regardless bro use all of it all the time so for example let's say for me Monday is shoulders and biceps and then on Wednesday I have back guys in order to pull anything you're using your bicep right but we're talking about direct contact so I always suggest if you are gonna have a upper body day or upper body focus um, always try to schedule your routine to where there's enough recovery for it to make sense to really go crazy on that muscle group again let's throw on the shoes these pairs of shoes bro inside of it it's like whatever fur 
fur. Uh, and then outside it's waterproof and then super comfortable inside. Bro, you could rock these pre-gym, you know what I mean? So rocking these pre-gym and then when it's time to go in, obviously I'm doing my cardio and all that, you don't wanna do cardio in these. I mean, you just, you're gonna mess them up. So we're gonna throw on the high tops, but these mugs are comfortable. I highly suggest them, bro. Like, they are extremely, extremely comfortable and they're very, very affordable. So, uh, going from these to these. That walkout was like literally crazy. It was awesome, alhamdulillah. Whew, man. My beats have been beaten, eh? Ah. They've been beaten though, eh? I'm putting them to good use. Hard sweat put into these babies. So the physique update right now, I'm like roughly in the early 200s area. So that's why I seem to be really, really shredded right now. My goal for the physique right now is to stay lean. So visible abs, you can see the striations in the muscle and things like that. So that's like roughly like 10 to 12% body fat. And right now at my weight to be like 10 to 12 body fat is like 200, 205 to 210. Uh, once I pass that like 220 mark, it's a full bulk, right? But then once I get under that 200 mark, I, I look fairly, fairly, fairly lean, baby. And you already know, if you do need help with your fitness journey, whether it's losing weight, building muscle, or getting lean, aka diced, aka shredded, I do offer fitness programs on my website, four, eight, and 12 week programs that gives you the perfect guide on how to achieve that goal. And with that, y'all, obviously, you're gonna need the right diet. So there's so many, there's literally so many ways you can achieve your fitness goals diet wise. You can go high protein, mid carb, low fat, high protein, mid fat, low carb. Like some people completely cut out carbs. Some people go fully keto. Like there's so many ways to attack your diet. That's why I always say test things out. Like it doesn't hurt to test things out and see what really works with your body. You know what I mean? And track your weight. You can literally go get a body fat test done. It's, I don't want to say it's 100% accurate, but it's fairly accurate. And you're gonna be like, okay, I'm at this. I'm at this weight with this body fat percentage. Now let's 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 adjust it to my goals and get to where either lower or higher in weight, depending on what your goal is. Bulk, clean, lose weight, right? However, if you do need help with your workout routine, check out FidelaFit.com for all kinds of programs. Now back at the crib, and actually, y'all, I'm excited to show you my new table that I got, and I want to show you guys what it does because I actually really enjoy these desks. So the real cool thing about this desk is I enjoy like doing my work standing or whatever. So when you come to this awesome shift right here, boom, this controls the height of it, right? So like, let's say I wanted to do my work standing. 
Boom, you go ahead and click it, but I want it real high. So we're gonna throw it up, throw it up, throw it up. And it gets so high, bro, like, it will focus. Shaboop. Like, I'm five foot 10 and this right here is perfect. Really, really wanted to show you the desk because it's freaking awesome. So as I said, the goal right now is to stay fairly lean. Uh, and the way I'm doing that is high protein, mid carb, low fat. Uh, but I'm not gonna lie, I will switch it up some days and have more fats than carbs. Like healthy fats, like whenever you're having healthy fats, I promise you, it's perfect for you. So for breakfast, we have three whole eggs and two egg whites. And what I mean by that is I take the egg yolk out and save it for later. But these aren't just, these are duck eggs. So these contain a lot more vitamins and nutritional value. A chicken egg is roughly six to eight grams of protein. These run between 10 and 12 grams of protein per egg. So this is roughly like give or take 40 to 50 grams of protein. And as you know, if the protein is higher in the egg, the fat's higher as well. This is probably like, I'd say 10 to 15 grams of fat or maybe even pushing that 20, 25 mark. It just depends on like, you know, it's, it's, it's a round area because you know, you gotta weigh the egg and all that stuff. So the protein for this is roughly 40, 50 grams in fats, I'd say between 15 and 25 grams of fat. And then we threw in a diced tomato. Tomatoes, peppers, I mean, they all do amazing things for your body. So I always suggest like, if you wanna make an omelet or scrambled eggs, throw in some peppers, some tomatoes, some onions. They all help your body in tremendous ways. And duck eggs are honestly way, way more fluffier than a uh, chicken egg. And these are grass fed. These are from my girlfriend's um, farm. They have like a farm. Uh, anyways, these are fed the best of the best foods. So that means what you're getting in return is the best of the best. So that was delicious, alhamdulillah. So that was meal number one. Now meal number two, it's more in the area on this current diet, it's more in the area of obviously high protein, mid carb and low fat. So it would be like 180 to 200 grams of chicken breast and then we'll go roughly like 120 to 150 grams of white rice and mind you i'm only having right now my diet is three or four meals a day and then the only fats on that meal is from the olive oil that i use so i cook everything in either olive oil or avocado oil uh, because those are the best oils in the world to use on your foods. They're very, very healthy for you. And so I highly recommend that. And then meal number three will either be around meal number two or it'll be a high protein, mid fat, low carb. It just really depends. Or even sometimes it'll be like a, like an all around, right? And if I had to really count out the macros, I'd say it's roughly between 180 to 200 grams of protein roughly 75 to 150 grams of carbs, or maybe even 200, it depends on what meal three is, and then anywhere between 25 to 60 grams of fat, which for me is working fantastic for my current fitness goal. And if I wanna bulk, we're gonna up everything. If I wanna get even more diced, we're gonna mess around with the protein, carbs, and fats again. So that is it for today's vlog, ladies and gentlemen. I really, really do hope you did enjoy it. If you're new here, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, baby. If you're old here, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what part of the video was your favorite. I really, really appreciate it, guys. As well as quote of the video, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all know I gotta do the quote, you know it. The quote of the video is, discipline is the strongest form of self-love, again, Discipline is the strongest form of self-love. Yes, there's plenty of things you can do, like um, taking care of yourself, doing nice things for yourself, but staying disciplined with your workout routine, with your diet plan, disciplined with your goals, disciplined with your business, all of that is a form of self-love. So take it into accountability and really, really start being disciplined with yourself and your goals. But that is it for today's video. See you guys in the next video.